morning, everybody. How is everybody doing? Good? Wonderful. Okay, so do I have a new student? No, I have somebody for the second time. May? Where are you? Oh, welcome back. Yes. So, everybody, please stand up. Yes, please. Thank you. Let's start the class with a standing deep breathing exercise, pranayama breathing, which is very, very good for your lungs and your respiratory system. In this breathing, we inhale through your nose, exhale out through your mouth. Inhale and exhale should be always through your throat. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Everybody stand up straight. Look straight into the mirror. Interlock your 10 fingers, including your thumb. Knuckles touching with your chin. No gap between your knuckles and your chin. Relax your shoulders, swallow a couple of times, concentrate, meditate, start, inhale, chin down, head down, lift your elbows up, all the way up towards the ceiling, spine straight, suck your stomach in, exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest, inhale, chin down. Head down, lift your elbows up, look straight into the mirror, lift your elbows up, spine straight, suck your stomach in, exhale, push your head back, way, way back, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest, inhale, chin down, head down, lift your elbows up, all the way up towards the ceiling, stomach, 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 everybody suck your stomach and hold it there, exhale, push your head back, I want to hear the ha sound, let all there come out of your lungs, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other, forward towards the mirror, away from your chest, inhale, chin down, head down, open up your chest, open up your ribcage, open up your intercostal muscles, spine straight, suck your stomach in, exhale, push your head back, hip muscle nice and tight, leg muscle nice and tight, maximum body weight on your heels, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other away from your chest, inhale, chin down, head down, lift your elbows up, no hunchback, look straight into the mirror, spine absolutely straight, suck your stomach in, exhale, push your head back, Please use your throat. Let all there come out of your lungs. Keep your eyes open. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Lift your elbows up. All the way up towards the ceiling. Stomach, 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 stomach. Suck your stomach and hold it there. Exhale. Push your head back. Eyes open. Mouth open. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, inhale, chin down, head down, depression of your abdominal wall, contraction of your abdominal muscles, stomach, 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 suck your stomach and hold it there, exhale, use your throat, I want to hear the ha sound, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest, inhale, arms and head movement synchronizing together should be exactly in 6 seconds, spine straight, suck your stomach in, hold it there, exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest, Inhale, breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Lift your elbows up, spine straight, suck your stomach in. Exhale, push your head back, eyes open, mouth open, knuckles touching with your chin, elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror, away from your chest. Hold it there, don't give up. Arms by your side. Relax your shoulders, swallow a couple of times. Second set, one more time, stand up straight, knuckles touching with your chin, including your thumb, knuckles underneath your chin, relax your shoulder, swallow a couple of times, start, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, hold it, inhale, chin down, Head down, lift your elbows up, 
all the way up towards the ceiling. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Push your head back. Way, way back. Eyes open, mouth open. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Open up your chest. Open up your ribcage. Open up your intercostal muscles. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Push your head back. I want to hear the ha sound. Please use your throat. Let all there come out of your lungs. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Lift your elbows up all the way up towards the ceiling. No hunchback. Spine absolutely straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. The more and more you exhale, the more you will inhale the next time. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Hip muscle nice and tight. Leg muscle nice and tight. Lift your elbows up all the way up towards the ceiling. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Push your head back. This is not a backward bending. Only push your head back. Please keep your knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other. Away from your chest. Towards the mirror. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Lift your elbows up. All the way up towards the ceiling. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Push your head back. Eyes open. Mouth open. Knuckles touching with your chin. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror. Away from your chest. Hold it there. Inhale. Chin down. Head down. Hip muscle nice and tight. Leg muscle nice and tight. Depression of your abdominal wall. Contraction of your abdominal muscles. Stomach, 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 stomach. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Push your head back. Eyes open, mouth open, use your throat. I want to hear the ha sound. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale, chin down, head down. Breathe as much as possible, as long as possible, as slow as possible. Lift your elbows up, suck your stomach in. Exhale, push your head back. Hip muscle nice and tight, leg muscle nice and tight. Knuckles touching with your chin. Please keep your eyes open. Elbows touching with each other forward towards the mirror away from your chest. Inhale. The last one. You're on your own. Make it a good one. Strong one. Exhale. Arms by your side. Relax your shoulders. Swallow a couple of times. Let's start the class. Half moon with hands to feet pose. Ardha Chandrasana with Pada Hastasana. Everybody stand up straight. Heels and feet together on the line, please. Arms over your head. Hands and palms together. Interlock your ten fingers. Release the index fingers. Thumbs crossed. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Hands and palms touching each other like glue up to the wrist throughout the entire posture. Stretch up to the ceiling. Right and left. Right and left. Right and left. Several times. You should feel stretching down on both sides of your body. In other words, you're trying to touch the ceiling. When you can't stretch anymore, please come and stop in the middle. Elbows locked. Arms always touching with your ears. No gap between your arms, biceps and your ears. Push your hips a little bit forward towards the mirror. Opening up your hips and your pelvis. Upper body leaning back a couple of inches. Opening up your chest and your ribcage. Throughout the posture, maximum body weight on your heels. Arms and head back. Chin up. Concentrate at one point in the mirror. Don't even blink your eyes. Inhale breathing. Full lungs. Hold the breathing. Stretch up out of your waist for one more time. Try to touch the ceiling. Absolutely straight line. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Continuously push your hips to the left. Beyond your flexibility, you're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to the skin, from fingertips to the toes. Maximum body weight on your heels. Hips more forward, upper body back more, weight on the heels. Push your left hip forward to keep your both hips in one line. Right shoulder forward, opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push. Come down and push. Come down and push. And push. Slowly, gently come up. Stretch up out of your waist. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Absolutely straight line. Go. Slowly bend your body to the left. Yes. 
continuously keep pushing. Everybody, chin away from your chest. Do not tuck your chin. Arms back. Maximum body weight on your heels. Push your hips a little bit forward towards the mirror in front of you. At the same time, push your right hip forward to get your two hips in one line. Opening up your chest like a flower petal blooming. Come down and push. 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 And push. Slowly, gently come up. Stretch up out of your waist. Backward bending. Now your back is really going to hurt like hell. But please, don't be scared. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Go. Everybody drop your head back. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your total spine from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back. Total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale breathing. Push your stomach, legs, hips. Everything forward towards the mirror in front of you. Arms back. Look back. Fall back. Way back. Go back. Go back. Go back. More back. And slowly, gently come up. Good try, everybody. Stretch up out of your waist. Bend your knees. Bring your hands and palms on the floor in front of you and move your hips right and left, right and left, right and left. Several times to get your lower spine relaxed, nice and loose, comfortable, easy, flexible. This is a complete U-turn from back bending to forward bending. So your spine is not warmed up yet. So everybody, please move your hips to loosen up your spine and to prepare your spine for the rest of the class. Grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers, little baby fingers touching with each other. Keep a nice tight grip and pull your heels as hard as possible. Your elbows behind your leg calf muscle throughout the entire posture. Slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Try to touch your stomach on the thigh, chest on the knee, face on the leg below the knee. From the side, you look like a Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere. Pull your heels, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath your legs, inside out from bones to the skin, from coccyx to the toes with a smiling, happy face. Continuously keep pulling. Pulling is the object of stretching at the same time. Smiling is the object of stretching. So come on, everybody. Pull your heels, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. Exhale, breathing, lock your knees. Roll forward, lock your knees. Eyes open, lock your knees. Touch your face, lock your knees. Last chance. Lock your knees, lock your knees, lock your knees. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together. Arms by your side. Stand still. Breathe. One more time. Stand up straight, heels and feet together. Arms over your head. Interlock your ten fingers. Release the index fingers. Please keep your elbows locked. I still see some of you still doing this. Your elbows absolutely locked. Stretch up out of your waist. Take a deep breath, full lungs, absolutely straight line, go. Slowly bend your body to the right without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Continuously push your hips to the left beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the left side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to the skin, from fingertips to the toes. Chin away from your chest. Arms back with a smiling, happy face. I do not see anybody smiling. Come on. Tomorrow is Friday, so you guys have to do your best for the Friday night. Come on. Maximum body weight on your heels with a smiling, happy face. I see only Ravi smiling. Oh, yes, and me a little bit. Yes, come down and push, 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 push. And slowly, gently come up. Stretch up out of your waist. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Absolutely straight line. Go. Slowly bend your body to the left without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Continuously push your hips to the right beyond your flexibility. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling on the right side of your body. All over, inside out, from bones to the skin, from fingertips to the toes. Chin away from your chest. Arms back. Maximum body weight on your heels. Come down and push. 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 And push slowly, gently come up, stretch up out of your waist. Now, no more excuses. Your spine is already warmed up. Take a deep breath, full lungs, go. Everybody drop your head back as far as it goes. Look at the floor behind you. Arms back immediately. Try to touch the wall behind you. Bend your total spine from coccyx to the neck. Lower back, middle back, upper back, total spine backward bending. Push your upper body back. Try to fall down backwards. Maximum body weight on your heels. Inhale, breathing. Push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror in front of you. Arms back, look back, fall back, way back, way back, way back, go back, more back and slowly, gently come up. Good try, everybody. Stretch up out of your waist. Bend your knee. Bring your hands and palms on the floor in front of you and move your hips. Your spine is already warmed up, but still you can move your hips to loosen up your spine and to prepare your spine for the rest of the class. 
Grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers, little baby fingers touching with each other. Keep a nice tight grip and pull your heels as hard as possible. Elbows behind your leg, calf muscle throughout the entire posture. Slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Touch your stomach on the thigh, chest on the knee, face on the leg below the knee. From the side, you look like a Japanese ham sandwich. No gap anywhere, no room, no air. Pull your heels, push your knees back, try to lock your knees. You're trying to create a tremendous stretching feeling, pain sensation all over underneath your legs. Inside out from bones to the skin, from coccyx to the toes with a smiling, happy face. I do not see anybody smiling. Come on, everybody, my lovely friends. Pull your heels and smile. Stretch your face muscles. Try to lock your knees. Exhale, breathing. Lock your knees. Roll forward. Lock your knees. Touch your face. Lock your knees. Eyes open. Lock your knees. Very good, Sarah. Last chance. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Lock your knees. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together. Arms by your side. Stand still. Breathe in and out through your nose, mouth close. Next posture, awkward, Utkatasana. Right foot step to the right, six inches apart, heels invisible behind your toes. It looks like the letter H. If you do not know how to make six inches, quickly make two fists and bring the fist in between your feet. That will give you exactly six inches, not eight inches, not ten inches. Look straight into the mirror, arms parallel to the floor. All five fingers are touching with each other. Please keep your elbows locked. Tricep muscle nice and tight contraction. Nothing loose, nothing hanging. Look straight into the mirror. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing. Sit down. Feet flat position until your hip touch the chair. Spine straight to begin with. 100% body weight on your heels. Now lift your chest up and lean your upper body back. Try to fall down backward. Suck your stomach in. Contraction of the abdominal muscle. Compression of the abdominal wall. Suck it in. Tightening up. Hold it in. Rib cage visible in the front mirror. Open your knees. Six inches gap between your toes, heels, knees, hand. Chest up. Chin up, lean back, fall back, way back, go back and slowly gently come up. Keep your hands and palms there. Concentrate and meditate. Tremendous concentration. Stand up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Stretch your spine, chest, head, whole upper body up towards the ceiling like a natural human traction. Don't even blink your eyes. Imagine I'm pulling your hair up all the way up towards the ceiling. Spine straight, suck your stomach in and slowly sit down on your tippy toes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Lift your heels up. Lean your upper body back. Your hips and your head is leaning against the wall behind you. Please lift your heels up. Come up on your toes, maximum like a ballerina. Bring your knees up towards the ceiling. Keep your elbows locked. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Spine straight, heels up, heels up, heels up and slowly, gently come up. Good try. Keep your hands and palms there. Third part, come up on your toes a little bit and squeeze your knees together. Do not open up your knees. Spine straight, suck your stomach in and slowly sit down as slow as possible. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. Leaning against the wall. Continuously stretch your spine up towards the ceiling. Half an inch gap between your hips and your heels. Your hips and your head is leaning against the wall behind you. Keep your knees together forward towards the mirror in front of you. Thigh parallel to the floor, arms parallel to the leg from the side. Your body looks like a box, 90 degree angle. Keep your elbows locked. Don't look down, sir, at the back. Look straight into the mirror. Thank you. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Knees together, spine straight. Suck your stomach in and slowly, gently come up with, with control. Oh, yes. Arms by your side. Stand still. Breathe. This takes care of your knees, guys. It makes, you, makes it stronger. One more time. Right foot step to the right. Six inches apart, heels invisible behind your toes. Look straight into the mirror, arms parallel to the floor. All five fingers are touching with each other. Please keep your elbows locked. Suck your stomach in, exhale breathing and slowly sit down. You're sitting down on an imaginary chair. There's a chair behind your hips. Everybody sit down on the chair. Sit down on the chair. Now lift your chest up and lean your upper body back. Try to fall down backward. Suck your stomach in. Contraction of the abdominal muscle. Compression of the abdominal wall. Suck it in. Tightening up. Hold it in. Rib cage visible in the front mirror. Open your knees, please. Six inches gap between your toes, heels, knees, hand. Chest up, chin up. Lean back, fall back, way back. Go back, more back and slowly, gently come up. Wonderful. Keep your hands and palms there concentrate and meditate focus at one point in the mirror please don't even blink your eyes stand up on your toes maximum like a ballerina imagine i'm pulling your hair up all the way up towards the ceiling spine straight 
suck your stomach in exhale breathing and slowly sit down on your tippy toes come on come on come on come on everybody i've kept a knife underneath your heel so do not drop the heel you're going to hurt your heels lift your heels up h e e l on top of h i l l keep your spine straight lean your upper body back your elbows locked fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you bring your knees up towards the ceiling hold it there and slowly gently come up third part come up on your toes a little bit and squeeze your knees together you've got a ball in between your both the knees so please do not open your knees to drop the ball on the floor everybody knees together spine straight suck your stomach in and slowly sit down take your time i'm not counting for you but everybody has to sit down with your knees together keep your spine straight elbows locked now only if you have got strong knees and if you can balance bounce a couple of time bounce 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 stop hold it there knees together spine straight elbows locked and slowly gently come up with control just like an elevator arms by your side heels and feet together stand still breathe the next posture is eagle garudasana look at your arms and identify them which is right which is left please don't mix them up arms over your head bring your right arm underneath your left arm cross your arms and twist like ropes hands and palms touching each other in front of your face thumbs towards your face little baby fingers towards the mirror in front of you if you are unable to bring your hands and palms together interlace your 10 fingers including your thumb and pull your elbows down towards the floor fingertips should go below your nose fingertips should not come up higher than your nose relax your shoulders suck your stomach in and slowly sit down don't do anything with your legs just sit down first sit down there's a chair behind your hips sit down lean your upper body back suck your stomach in now lift your right leg over and top of your left leg your right foot underneath your left calf muscle all five toes are visible in the front mirror sit down more arch your upper body back no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle bring your knees to the right upper body to the left to get your feet knees elbows hand everything in one line if your foot is coming out sit down more if you are losing your balance lean your upper body back pull your elbows down suck your stomach in hold it there change right away arms over your head bring your left arm underneath your right arm cross your arms and twist like ropes fingertip should go below your nose fingertip should not come up higher than your nose relax your shoulders suck your stomach in and slowly sit down just sit down on the chair there's a chair behind your hips sit down on the chair lean your upper body back suck your stomach in now lift your left leg over and top of your right leg your left foot underneath your right calf muscle all five toes are visible in the front mirror sit down more arch your upper body back no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle bring your knees to the left upper body to the right to get your feet knees elbows hands everything in one line sit down more miss you lean a little bit more very good sit down a little bit more if your foot is coming out hold it there don't give up and slowly gently come up right away one more time arms over your head bring your right arm underneath your left arm cross your arms and twist like ropes fingertips should go below your nose do not cover your face with your hands and your palms relax your shoulders suck your stomach in and slowly sit down on the imaginary chair behind your hips take your position spot lean your upper body back suck your stomach in now lift your right leg over and top of your left leg your right foot underneath your left calf muscle 14 major joints in human skeletal system is opening up in this posture your deltoids scapula elbows wrist hips knees ankles seven on each side sit down more lean your upper body back no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle change arms over your head bring your left arm underneath your right arm cross your arms and twist like ropes fingertips should go below your nose relax your shoulders suck your stomach in and slowly sit down hips touching the imaginary chair take your position lean your upper body back go lift your left leg over and top of your right leg your left foot underneath your right calf muscle all five toes are visible in the front mirror sit down more arch your upper body back no gap between your ankle and your calf muscle sit down more aisha sit down more lean your upper body back suck your stomach in pull your elbows down towards the floor fingertips should go below your nose hold it there very good sara little bit more sit down change good try everybody arms over your head arms by your side stand still breathing in and out through your nose you can take your sip of water how is everybody doing good you guys look so sad oh my goodness vikram yoga is all about trying it's not a competition 
You try the right way, you get the benefits out of it. So it's all about trying the right way. Next posture, standing head to knee pose. Dandayamana, Janusirasana. You have to make up your mind, your willpower to use your 100% strength, your determination. Everybody stand up straight, look straight into the mirror, wipe your hands, shift your body weight on your left leg, interlock your 10 fingers, including your thumb, and grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toes. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. From start to finish, concentrate at one point on your left knee in the mirror to make sure your left knee is absolutely locked to begin with. You don't have the knee. Your left leg should be solid, concrete, one piece, lamp post, unbroken. No knee. You don't have the knee. Now, only if your standing knee is locked and it is not bending and if you're confident, you can balance there. Then only lift your right leg and kick your right leg forward towards the mirror in front of you. Heel out, toes in, all five toes towards your face. Your leg should be parallel to the floor, no higher, no lower. If your both knees are locked from the side, your leg should look like perfect upside down L like Linda. Now, if you can balance there, slowly bend your elbows, bring your elbows down towards the calf muscle, elbows touching the calf muscle, elbows should go down below the calf muscle. Hold it there. Change. Good try. Leg down, stand up straight, wipe your hands again, shift your body weight on your right leg, interlock your 10 fingers, including your thumb, and grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Come on, come on, come on. I want everybody at least grab your foot, lock your knee, and stay there. Your mantra in your mind should be lock the knee, lock the knee, lock the knee. Just lock your knee and stay there. Don't do anything else. Just try to lock your knee. Create a cram on top of your standing knee. Your standing knee absolutely locked. Now, only if your standing knee is not bending, then lift your left leg and kick your left leg forward towards the mirror in front of you. Heel out, toes in. Your standing knee absolutely locked. If your both knees are locked and if you can balance there, slowly bend your elbows. Very good, miss. Bend your elbows. Bring your elbows down towards the calf muscle. Elbows touching the calf muscle. Elbows should go down below the calf muscle. Hold it there. Change. Good try. Bring your hands and palms on your back and take a quick back bending to loosen up your lower spine. One more time. Wipe your hands, shift your body weight on your left leg, interlock your 10 fingers, including your thumb, and grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toes. Come on, come on, come on. Everybody, at least grab your foot, lock your knee, and stay there. Wonderful. Just grab your foot. Grab your foot, lock your knee. You're doing nothing else. Just grab your foot, lock your knee, and stay there. Your mantra in your mind should be lock the knee, lock the knee, lock the knee. You're standing on one leg. Just stay there. Just do the setup of the posture correctly. Lock your standing knee. Now, only if you are confident, otherwise keep staying that way. Then lift your right leg and kick your right leg forward towards the mirror in front of you. Heel out, toes in. If your both knees are locked, slowly bend your elbows. Bring your elbows down towards the calf muscle, elbows touching the calf muscle. Try to touch your forehead on your knee. Give it a try just for a few seconds. Very good, teachers. Heel out, toes in. Standing knee locked. Hold it there. Wonderful, Michelle. Hold it there. Good, me. Change. One more time. Wipe your hands. Shift your body weight on your right leg. Interlock your 10 fingers, including your thumb. And grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, everybody. Just pick up your foot. Grab your foot. Grab your foot. Lock your knee and stay there. Don't do anything else. Just grab your foot. Lock your knee and stay there. Grab your foot. Lock your knee and stay there. Your standing knee absolutely locked. Do not bend your standing knee. If you can balance, then only lift your left leg and kick your left leg forward towards the mirror in front of you. If your both knees are locked, slowly bend your elbows. Bring your elbows down towards the calf muscle, elbows touching the calf muscle. Try to touch your forehead on your knee just for a few seconds. Don't give up. Standing knee locked. Very good, Karina. Hold it there. Don't give up. Change. Good try, everybody. Bring your hands and palms on your back and take a quick back bending to loosen up your lower spine. Next posture, standing bow pulling pose. Dandayamana, Dhanurasana. Bring your right arm out in front of you. Palm facing up towards the ceiling. Say, Manali, give me money. Thank you, guys. Manali has given you money. So tomorrow is Friday. Don't drop the money. Now you're still holding the money. Bring your hand to the right side of the room. Now grab your right foot from behind at the ankle. Not at the heel, not at the toes. At the ankle. Knees together. Standing knee locked. Lift your left arm up, all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep your elbow locked. 
All five fingers are touching with each other. Fingertips are trying to touch the ceiling. Look straight into the mirror. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more. Chest down more. Abdomen down more. Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Your foot is coming over on top of your head, visible in the front mirror. Right shoulder behind your left shoulder, completely invisible in the front mirror. Left fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Standing knee absolutely locked. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous 50-50. The harder you kick, the more you can balance. Bring your body down more. Chest down more. Abdomen down more. Standing knee lock. Kick more. Kick more. Kick more, change. Good try. Bring your left arm out, palm facing out. Grab your left foot from behind at the ankle, not at the heel, not at the toes. Standing knee lock, squeeze your knees together. Lift your right arm up, all the way up towards the ceiling. Look straight into the mirror. Don't look down. Mouth close. Take a deep breath. Go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Your standing knee absolutely locked. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Your foot is coming over on top of your head, visible in the front mirror. Left shoulder behind your right shoulder, completely invisible in the front mirror. Your right fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Shoulder blade scapula coming out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders in one line. Kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous. 50-50, the harder you kick, the more you can balance. Kick and balance, kick and balance, kick and balance, kick and balance. Kick, 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 kick. kick. Change. Good try. Arms by your side. Heels and feet together. Stand still. Breathe. One more time. L bring your right arm out. Palm facing out. Grab your right foot from behind at the ankle. The setup of the posture is very, very important, guys, how you are doing it. Because you are going to get the benefits out of it. Standing knee locked. Squeeze your knees together. Lift your left arm up. Your shoulder touching to your chin like the Statue of Liberty. Do not separate your five fingers. All five fingers are touching with each other. Look straight into the mirror. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling. Your foot is coming over on top of your head, visible in the front mirror. Right shoulder behind your left shoulder, completely invisible in the front mirror. Left fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Chin touching with your shoulder, shoulder blade scapula coming out of your body. In other words, your two shoulders in one line, kicking and stretching should be equal and simultaneous 50 50. The harder you kick, the more you can balance. Kick and balance, 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 kick and Kick, change. See, you guys did it. Don't look so sad. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Bring your left arm out, palm facing out. Now grab your left foot from behind at the ankle, not at the heel, not at the toes. Standing knee lock. Lift your right arm up, all the way up towards the ceiling. All five fingers are touching with each other. Look straight into the mirror. Do not look down. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Go. Everybody together. Don't give up. Bring your body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. Your foot is coming over on top of your head, visible in the front mirror. Standing knee absolutely locked. Do not give up. Hold it there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, half, change. See? It's all in your mind. Wonderful. You did it. Next posture, balancing stick. This posture is only for 10 seconds, guys, believe me. So in 10 seconds, you have to make up your mind to use your 100% strength. You need only half a second. Only half a second is required. If you're late, it's all over. So let's not get it over, everybody together. Are you guys with yourself? Yes or no? Give me a good yes. Yes or no? I still hear some of you are not saying that. Yes or no? Thank you. Are you guys with me? Yes or no? Thank you. Let's go for it. Don't give up. Stand up straight, heels and feet together on the lines. Arms over your head, interlock your 10 fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Mm, I still see some of you doing like this. Stretch up all the way up towards the ceiling. Look straight into the mirror. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath, right leg. A big step in front of you. Hold it. If your both knees are locked, go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Your whole upper body should be parallel to the floor. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Your whole body is stretching in equal and opposite direction like a natural human tug of war. Standing knee lock, body down, leg up, come down, leg up, come down, leg up. Stretch and 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 stretch. Change. Come up. Don't look down. Look straight into the mirror. Eyes open. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Left leg. A big step in front of you. Hold it. If your both knees are locked, 
go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror, mirror in front of you. Shoulder blades, scapula coming out of your body. Your body should look like the letter T, not like a broken umbrella. Standing knee lock, stretch and 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 stretch. Change. Come up. Look up. Arms by your side. Stand still. Just breathing in and out through your nose. Mouth cold close because your heartbeat has gone up right now. Lab dhab, lab dhab, lab dhab. So just come down with your breath. And that is only way breathing in and out through your nose, mouth closed. One more time. Look straight into the mirror, arms over your head, interlock your 10 fingers, release the index fingers, thumbs crossed. Please keep your elbows locked. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath, right leg, a big step in front of you. Hold it. If your both knees are locked, Go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Every muscle contracted, body down, leg up, come down, leg up. Standing knee lock, stretch and 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 stretch. Change. Come up. Look up. Don't look down. Mouth closed. Take a deep breath. Left leg. A big step in front of you. Hold it. If your both knees are locked, go. Charge your body forward towards the mirror in front of you. Body down more, chest down more, abdomen down more. Fingertips are trying to touch the mirror in front of you. Standing knee lock, body down, leg up, come down, leg up. Every muscle contract is stretch, 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 stretch. Change. Come up. Look up. Arms by your side. Stand still. Just breathing in and out through your nose. Mouth closed. Come to the left side of your mat and towel. For standing, separate leg stretching pose. Dandayamana, Vibhaktapada, Paschimuttasana. You can come one before, one after, as per your mat and towel. Now everybody together, arms over your head. A big step to the right. Boom. Hands and palms parallel to the floor. Four feet minimum. Make sure your two heels are in one line. Feet slightly pigeon toe. Arms back. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing. And slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Grab your heels from behind. If you cannot grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet. And please try to touch your forehead on the floor. If you cannot touch your forehead on the floor, open up your legs more and more and more. First, your legs are stretching. Then your hips are stretching. Your lower spine is stretching. Your whole spine is stretching. Eventually, your whole body is stretching from top to bottom, from coccyx to the neck, from coccyx to the forehead. Roll forward like a wheel. Please try to touch your forehead on the floor in between your feet. Eventually, your spine should be perfectly straight at 90 degree angle from coccyx to the neck. Roll forward. Touch your forehead on the floor. Keep your knees locked throughout the entire posture. Eyes open. Breathing normal. And slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together. Look up. Arms over ye. And arms by your side. <clears throat> One more time. Stand up straight. Arms over your head. A big step to the right. Boom. Four feet minimum. Step out of your mat and towel, everybody. Step out of your mat and towel. That is four feet. Thank you. Make sure your feet a little bit inward. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in, exhale breathing and slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor. Grab your heels from behind. If you cannot grab your heels, grab the outside of your feet and try to touch your forehead on the floor. If you cannot touch your forehead on the floor, open up your legs more and more and more. First, your legs are stretching, your lower spine, middle spine, upper spine. Your total spine is stretching from top to bottom, from coccyx to the neck, from coccyx to the forehead. Please try to touch your forehead on the floor. Roll forward like a wheel. Keep your knees locked throughout the entire posture. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Slowly, gently come up. Look up. Arms over your head. Arms by your side. Stand still. Breathe. You okay, sir? Good. Next posture is triangle trikonasana, the master posture of Bikram Yoga, the heart and the lungs. They are going to work together. So let's make it happen. Come to the left side of your mat and towel. Arms over your head. A big step to the right. Boom. Four feet minimum. Hands and palms parallel to the floor. Look straight into the mirror. Don't look down. Now turn your right foot to the right side of the room. Make sure your two heels are in one line. Now bend your right knee and sit down. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride. Make sure you're sitting down low enough. Your right thigh bicep should be parallel to the floor. Push your hips a little bit forward towards the mirror in front of you. Lean your upper body back. Chin up. Chest up, 
spine straight, inhale, breathing, go. Move your both arms up and down at the same time in equal and opposite direction. Your right arm down, your left arm up. Your left fingertips are trying to touch the ceiling. Chin touching with your left shoulder, the profile of your face exactly visible in the front mirror. Put your right fingertips between your big toe and second toe. Don't touch the floor. No pressure on the fingertips against the floor. Both arms are stretching, both elbows are stretching, both shoulders are stretching. At the same time in equal and opposite direction like a natural human traction. Look up towards the ceiling. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Turn and twist your upper body back like a spine twisting pose. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up. Good, everybody. Stop in the middle. Then turn your left foot to the left side of the room. Make sure your two heels are in one line. Bend your left knee. Bounce a couple of times like a motorcycle ride and sit down. Make sure you're sitting down low enough. Your left thigh bicep should be parallel to the floor. Make sure your hips don't go up anymore. Stay down there. Spine straight. No hunchback. Spine straight. Spine straight. Suck your stomach in. Exhale. Breathing. Go. Come on, everybody. Now your right arm up, your left arm down. Your right fingertips are trying to touch the ceiling. Chin touching with your right shoulder. The profile of your face exactly visible in the front mirror. Both arms are stretching, both elbows are stretching, both shoulders are stretching at the same time in equal and opposite direction like a natural human traction. Now put your left fingertips between your big toe and second toe. Don't touch the floor. Now push your right hip forward towards the mirror at the same time. Push your left knee back with the help of your left elbow. Turn and twist your upper body back like a spine twisting pose. Right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up. Stop in the middle. Arms over your head, arms by your side. Stand still, breathe. In this posture, everything in your body, from head to toe, everything is working. That's why Bikram has named it the master posture. The cardiovascular system, the respiratory system, they are together. They are working together. They are not fighting. So let's make it happen one more time. Arms over your head. A big step to the right. Boom. Four feet minimum. Step out of your mat and towel, please, everybody. Four feet, four feet. Thank you. Now look straight into the mirror. Turn your right foot to the right side of the room. Make sure your two heels are in one line. Bend your right knee and sit down like a tabletop. Bounce a couple of times if you have to. Push your hips forward towards the mirror in front of you. Lean your upper body back, arms back, spine straight. Inhale, breathing, go. Move your both arms up and down at the same time in equal and opposite direction. Your right arm down, your left arm up. Your left fingertips are trying to touch the ceiling. Chin touching with your left shoulder, the profile of your face visible in the front mirror. Everybody look up towards the ceiling. Do not look down. Both arms are stretching. Both elbows are stretching. Both shoulders are stretching at the same time in equal and opposite direction like a natural human traction. Push your left hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Turn and twist your upper body back like a spine twisting pose. Left knee locked, left foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing slowly, gently come up. Stop in the middle. Well done. One more time. Turn your left foot to the left side of the room. Make sure your two heels are in one line. Bend your left knee and sit down like a tabletop. Make sure your hips don't go up anymore. Take your positions first. Sit down and take your position. Push your hips forward towards the mirror in front of you. Lean your upper body back. Spine straight. Inhale, breathing. Go. Move your both arms up and down at the same time in equal and opposite direction. Your right arm up, your left arm down. Your both arms are stretching in equal and opposite direction. Your right fingertips are trying to touch the ceiling, chin touching with your right shoulder, the profile of your face exactly visible in the front mirror. Both arms are stretching, both elbows are stretching, both shoulders are stretching. Now look up towards the ceiling. Do not separate your five fingers. All five fingers are touching with each other. Push your right hip forward towards the mirror. At the same time, push your left knee back with the help of your left elbow. Turn and twist your upper body back like a spine twisting pose. Right knee locked, right foot flat on the floor. Inhale, breathing. Slowly, gently come up. Stop in the middle. Arms over your head, arms by your side. Stand still. Breathe. Next posture, standing separate leg, head to knee. Dandayamana, Vibhakta Pada, Janusirasana. Arms over your head. Only thumbs crossed, like prayer position. Only thumbs crossed, not interlock. Uh huh, uh huh. Listen to my dialogue. Not like this, not interlock. Like this. Please look at me. Thumbs crossed. Arms always touching with your ears. Lock your elbow. A big step to the right. Boom. Three feet minimum. Step out of your mat and towel, please, everybody. Mat and towel. I do not want to see anybody on your mat and towel. Turn your body to the right side of the room. Turn your hips five times. One, two, three, four, 
five to get your two hips in one line two heels in one line two shoulders in one line tuck your chin to your chest look at your stomach suck your stomach in and you go down come down come down come down come down come down touch your forehead on your knee stretch your arms forward beyond your toes if you have to grab the foot with floor you can do it with your fingertips but please try to touch your forehead on your knee bend your knee if you have to but make sure your forehead is touching the knee bring maximum body weight on your front leg so that your right side hip is sticking up towards the ceiling to get your two hips in one line throat choked eyes open breathing normal slowly gently come up with your arms and head together please turn and stop in the middle first then turn to the left side of the room turn your hips again five times to get the correct alignment of your hips and your heels your back side foot should be 45 degree angle tuck your chin to your chest look at your stomach suck your stomach in exhale breathing and you go down come down come down come down come down keep your arms straight elbows straight touch your forehead on your knee bend your knee if you have to but make sure your forehead is touching the knee now touch it you can do it stretch your arms forward beyond your toes bring your maximum body weight on your front leg so that your left side hip is sticking up towards the ceiling to get your two hips in one line throat choked eyes open breathing normal and slowly gently come up with your arms and head together turn and stop in the middle please arms by your side stand still breathe one more time arms over your head only thumbs crossed please keep your elbows locked a big step to the right boom 3 feet minimum then turn your whole body to the right side of the room turn your hips five times 1 2 3 4 5 to get the correct alignment of your hips and your heels tuck your chin to your chest look at your stomach suck your stomach in exhale breathing and you go down come down come down come down come down touch your forehead on your knee bend your knee if you have to but make sure your forehead is touching the knee this is not a stretching posture this is a compression posture compression of your thyroid gland compression of your pancreas extension of your kidneys now push your knee back with the help of your forehead to lock your knee very quickly a couple of times throat choked eyes open breathing normal and slowly gently come up very good meeta with your arms and head together turn and stop in the middle then turn to the left side of the room turn your hips again five times to get the correct alignment of your hips and your heels tuck your chin to your chest look at your stomach suck your stomach in exhale breathing and you go down come down come down come down come down touch your forehead on your knee i want to see everybody touching their forehead on your knee bend your knee if you have to but please make sure your forehead is exactly touching on your knee now push your knee back with the help of your forehead very quickly a couple of times to lock your knee throat choked eyes open breathing normal and slowly gently come up with your arms and head together turn and stop in the middle please arms by your side stand still breathe come to the middle of your mat and towel for the tree pose everybody stand up straight look straight into the mirror lift your right leg up your right heel is touching the costume or wherever you feel comfortable if your foot is slipping off you can grab your foot with the other hand standing knee absolutely locked please do not bend your standing knee push your hips forward towards the mirror at the same time push your right knee back to get your two knees in one line two hips in one line two shoulders in one line look straight into the mirror don't even blink your eyes tremendous concentration now if you can balance slowly bring your right arm in front of your chest If you can still balance, bring your left arm in front of your chest like Namaste. Hold it there, just for a few seconds. Give it a try. Absolutely still, nothing moving. Change, beautiful. Lift your left leg up. Grab your left leg a couple of inches below the. You can do it wherever you feel comfortable. You are standing knee locked. Look straight into the mirror. Tremendous focus. Don't even blink your eyes. Standing knee locked. Do not bend your standing knee. Now, if you can balance, bring your left arm in front of your chest. Then bring your right arm in front of your chest. Focus. Concentrate. Balance. 
Stay there. Don't move. change beautiful this happens only in bikram yoga nowhere in the world you guys look so good still i don't get a smile okay okay next posture padangustasana to stand now for this posture everybody please look down one spot on the floor four feet ahead of your mat and towel forget there is a mirror in front of you for this posture everybody look down now lift your right leg up your right heel touching the costume or wherever you feel comfortable your standing knee absolutely locked bring your both hands and palms in front of your chest bend your knee and slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor grab the floor with your fingertips bend your knee and sit down on your heel stretch your spine up towards the ceiling suck your stomach in your both knees should be parallel to the floor from the side only half an inch gap between your hips and your heels Yeah you can grab the floor with your fingertips for your balance don't look at the mirror look on the floor now only if you can balance bring your le- left arm in front of your chest then bring your right arm in front of your chest stretch your spine up towards the ceiling give it a try just for a few seconds you can do it it's all about your mind the union of your body and of your mind is taking place here give it a try slowly gently come up in the opposite way you went down leg down heels and feet together stand up straight one more time lift your left leg up your left heel touching the costume or wherever you feel comfortable do not look at the mirror look on the floor if you can balance bring your both hands and palms in front of your chest bend your body and slowly bring your body down from your lower spine towards the floor Now grab the floor with your fingertips you can do it Now stretch your spine up towards the ceiling suck your stomach in one spot on the floor do not look at the mirror if you can balance bring your right arm in front of your chest then bring your left arm in front of your chest stretch your spine up towards the ceiling just for a few seconds focus concentrate balance wonderful slowly gently come up in the opposite way you went down everybody stand up on your mat and towel acknowledge yourself for the standing series turn around lie down on your back completely relax in savasana dead body pose hands and palms by your side palm facing up towards the ceiling you can take a sip of water but don't drink too much because you are going to be on your stomach very soon hydrate after the class heels touching with each other feet fall open now listen to me very carefully this is savasana the dead body pose nothing moving no fidgeting no scratching absolutely still with your body and with your mind keep your eyes open mouth closed breathing in and out through your nose palm should be facing the ceiling completely relax this is the most difficult posture in bikram yoga dead body dead bodies don't move because every system in your body is working right now all the major glands all the internal organs all the muscles everything is working from top to bottom physically mentally physiologically psychologically and biochemically when removing pose pavan mukta asana lift your right leg up interlock your 10 fingers grab your right leg a couple of inches below the knee 
Pull your right knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Your left leg straight on the floor, left calf muscle touching the floor. If your left calf muscle is not touching the floor, flex your left foot, tuck your chin to your chest, shoulder relaxed, neck flat on the floor, no gap underneath, your elbows touching with your body. You have to pull a little extra hard. Make sure your hip joint hurts. Maximum pressure on your lower abdomen. Hold it there. Don't move. Freeze. Change. Lift your left leg up, grab your left leg a couple of inches below your knee and pull your left knee down all the way towards your shoulder, avoiding the rib cage. Tuck your chin to your chest. Keep your head straight on the floor. Please keep your eyes open. Elbows touching with your body. You're trying to create a maximum pressure on your lower abdomen. Hold it there. Nothing moving. Change. Lift your both legs up. Grab your elbows with each other over the leg. You're giving the biggest hug to yourself. Nice, tight and compact. Squeeze your heels and feet together side by side. Do not open up your heels and your feet. Tuck your chin to your chest. Eventually in the future when you improve your skeletal system, that is your bone joints enough, then only your total spine is going to be flat on the floor. Keep your head straight, nothing moving. Absolutely freeze. Don't even blink your eyes. Stay there. Change. Hands and palms by your side. Palm facing up towards the ceiling. Completely relax. In Savasana, palm should be facing the ceiling. Heels touching with each other in Savasana. Feet fall open. Keep your head straight. One more time. Lift your right leg up. Grab your right leg a couple of inches below the knee, pull your right knee down all the way towards your right shoulder, completely avoiding the rib cage. Your right leg is massaging the ascending colon, which is very good for your digestive system, for your internal organs, for your abdominal muscle. Keep your head straight, eyes open, breathing normal, stay there. Don't move. Nothing moving. Change. Lift your left leg up, grab your left leg a couple of in inches. Yes, you can do it. Don't look so sad, sir. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> now pull your left leg. Yes, don't bend it. Your left leg is massaging the descending colon, which is good for your small intestine, for your abdominal muscle, for your internal organs. Hold it there. Don't move, don't move. You can do it just for a few seconds. Nothing moving change. Lift your both legs up, grab your elbows with each other over the leg. You're giving the biggest hug to yourself one more time. Tuck your chin to your chest. Your both legs are massaging the transverse colon, trying to create a maximum pressure on your lower ab abdomen and on your upper abdomen. Tuck your chin to your chest, eyes open, breathing normal. Stay there. Change. Hands and palms by your side, palm facing up towards the ceiling, completely relax in Savasana. Breathing in and out through your nose, mouth closed. Get ready for the sit-up, everybody. Heels and feet together, flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit-up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn around, lie down on your stomach for spine strengthening series, Cobra, Bhujanga Asana. Get your hands and palms under your shoulder, very close to your chest. All five fingers are touching with each other. Hands and palms flat on the floor, fingertips in line with the top of the shoulder, little baby fingers in line with the deltoids. Glue it down. Distribute the body weight all over, hands and palms equally the same. Start to finish. Squeeze your heels and feet together, feet flat on the floor. You have only one leg like cobra. Leg muscle nice and tight, hip muscle solid, concrete, one piece, chin on the floor, elbows touching with your body. Bring your shoulders down, look up to the ceiling, take a deep breath. Come on, everybody, lift your upper body up. 
using your 100% back strength. Come up half away until your belly button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is up in the air. From the side, your elbow should look like L, 90 degree angle, li like a rectangle. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Your arms and elbows are always touching with your body. Drop your shoulders down, trapezius muscle visible in the front mirror. Look up more, chin up more, chest up more. Make sure your back hurts. Go up more, hold it there and slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the right side of the room, hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe in and out through your nose, mouth close. One more time. Bring your hands and palms under your shoulder, very close to your chest. All five fingers are touching with each other. Keep your elbows touching with your body. Squeeze your heels and feet together. Feet flat on the floor. You have only one leg like cobra. Chin on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Come on, everybody. Lift your upper body up. Using your 100% back strength, come up half away until your belly button is touching the floor. Stretch your elbows down towards your hips. Your arms and elbows are always touching with your body. Drop your shoulders down. Trapezius muscle visible in the front mirror. Everybody look up more. Chin up more. Chest up more. Make sure your back hurts. Go up. Come up. Hold it there. And slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the left side of the room. Left side. Left side. Completely relaxed. Miss, are you okay? You okay, miss? Good. Remember, guys, you're fixing your spine, so no compromise. Next posture is locust. Everybody together, salvasana. Arms straight position underneath your body. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Separate your five fingers, little baby fingers touching with each other underneath your body. Your elbows straight, completely invisible underneath your body. I do not want to see anybody's elbow sticking out from the right side and left side. Chin on the floor, left leg relaxed, right leg solid, concrete one piece, pointed toes. Now listen to me very carefully, please. Do not lift your head and your chin up while you are lifting your leg. Your chin should be always touching the floor. Without bending your knee, take a deep breath. Come on, everybody. Lift your right leg up. Right leg up, right leg up, right leg up. Pointed toe, half of 90 degree, 45 degree angle. Leg up more. Knee lock, pointed toe. Make sure your back hurts, your elbows hurt. Leg up. Slowly, gently leg down. Without bending your knee, left leg up. Come on, come on, come on. Left leg up, all the way up. Don't give up. Leg up, you can do it. Knee locked. Pointed toe, half of 90 degree, 45 degree angle, leg up, leg up, come up, leg up, leg down. Readjust your hands and palms, mouth in, head in. Kiss your smelly, sweaty towel, you can do it, don't feel shy. Squeeze your heels and feet together, you've got only one leg without bending your knees. Take a deep breath, come on everybody. Lift your both legs up, both legs up, knees, yes, legs up. Heels and feet together. Do not separate. Heels and feet together. Leg up. Leg up. Struggle a little more harder. Please don't give up. You can do it. Leg up. Leg up. Leg up. Leg up. Change. Slowly, gently leg down. Turn your head to the right side of the room. Hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Your lower spine, middle spine, upper spine. You're fixing it right now. You're strengthening it in Bikram Yoga class. We all have spine problem. Lower back, middle back, upper back. So everything starts from the spine. So this is the time when you are fixing, you are fixing your own spine with your body, with your mind, with your flexibility, strength and balance. So don't compromise with your spine. One more time, bring your hands and palms underneath your body, grab the floor with your fingertips, elbows completely invisible underneath your stomach, chin on the floor, left leg relaxed, right leg solid, concrete one piece, pointed toes without bending your knee. Take a deep breath. Come on, everybody, together. Right leg up. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg down. Left leg lock. Together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg down. 
Readjust your hands and palms, mouth in, head in, squeeze your heels and feet together. You have got only one leg without bending your knees. Everybody together, lift your both legs up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Both legs up, both legs up, all the way up, all the way up. Struggle a little more harder. You can do it. Give up. Don't give up, don't give up. Leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1 and a half, and half. Change. Oh, yes. Turn your head to the left side of the room, hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Spine is the source of all energy in human life. You have a good spine, you have a healthy body and a healthy mind. Everything starts from the spine. This is the source. So you have to take care of your spine. Yes or no? Thank you. Next posture, full locus, Purna Salvasana. Bring your arms out like an aeroplane wing. Grab the floor with your fingertips. If you're touching your fence, that's fine. Make sure they, are, they come up when you are coming up, okay? That's your responsibility. Give them some energy. Squeeze your heels and feet together. Feet flat on the floor, chin on the floor. This is Bikram Airline 747, ready to take off from San Jose to Sao Paulo. Okay, a long journey. Okay, guys, get ready. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Come on, everybody. Arms, body, head, leg. Everything lift up like a 747. Only your hip button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is up in the bed. Look up more. Chin up more. Chest up more. Fingertips should be same level as your head. Look up. Chin up. Chest up. Go up. Come up. Fly up. All the way up. Hold it there. And slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the right side of the room. Hands and palms by your side, completely relax from arthritis to spondylitis to shoulder problem, neck problem, everything starts from the spine. So remember guys, you're fixing this spine in this Bikram Yoga class, in spine strengthening series. One more time, bring your arms out like an aeroplane wing. Grab the floor with your fingertips, squeeze your heels and feet together. You have got only one leg, chin on the floor, look up to the ceiling. Are you guys ready to fly, yes or no? Yes or no? Thank you. Take a deep breath. Full lungs. Come on, everybody. Arms, body, head, leg. Everything lift up like a 747. Only your hip button is touching the floor. The rest of your upper body is up in the air. Everybody look up. Chin up. Chest up. Only your hip button is touching the floor. Look up, look up, look up. Chin up, chest up. Come up, go up, fly up one more time. And slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the left side of the room. Hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Breathing in and out through your nose, mouth, close. Every class is a new class, no matter how long you're practicing with your body and with your mind, because you're trying to do the right way. Bikram Yoga is all about trying. You try the right way, you get the benefits out of it, and you do the wrong way, mm -mm. nothing happens. You may injure yourself. So always remember trying the right way. Next posture, bow pose. Dhanurasana, hold your feet from outside exactly two inches below the toes. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Six inches gap between your knees and your toes. Please keep your arms straight, elbows straight, wrists straight. Arms and legs should look like two wheels in one base. Chin on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Come on, everybody. Kick your both legs up all the way up towards the ceiling. Continuously keep kicking. Kick back more. Kick up more. Roll forward like a wheel until your toes are in the center from the side. Kick back. Kick up. Keep your knees in. Pointed toes out. Kick back. One more time. And slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the right side of the room. Hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Do you like Bikram Yoga? Really? Or do you love Bikram Yoga? Which one? I have to tell Bikram this. Love it. It's an honest confession. Like it or love it? Okay. Thank you. It's all about you. Remember, the credit goes to you. You are doing it. One more time. Hold your feet from outside exactly two inches below the toes. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Please keep your arms straight, elbows straight, chin on the floor. Look up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath. Come on, everybody. Kick your both legs up, both legs up, both legs up, all the way up, all the way up. Your foot is coming over and top of your head, visible in the front mirror. Keep your knees in, pointed toes out. Kick back more, kick up more. Roll forward like a wheel until your toes are in the center. Kick back, kick up one more time and slowly, gently bring your head down. Turn your head to the left side of the room, hands and palms by your side. Completely relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Miss, are you okay? with the towel on your face. You okay? Breathe in and out through your nose. Bikram Yoga is all about 
the breathing the right way. Always in and out through your nose, mouth closed. Please come to the middle of your mat and towel for the fixed firm pose. Supta Bajrasana, sit down Japanese style, squeeze your knees together. Yeah, you can take a sip of water, of course, if you want to. Separate your feet, sit down in between your feet, hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips. Hips and heels are touching with each other throughout the entire posture. Put your hands and palms on your toes. First, your right elbow on the floor, then your left elbow on the floor, your head on the floor, your back of the head on the floor, your shoulder on the floor, your whole upper body relaxed on the floor. Arms over your head, grab your elbows with each other over the head, pull your elbows down towards the floor, tuck your chin to your chest, lift your stomach and chest up, all the way up towards the ceiling. Create a perfect human bridge. Squeeze your knees together. Make sure your knees never come off the floor. Sir, if you can just bend your elbow and just, just drop your head back. No? Just drop. So what about you? Just drop. Very good. That's it. Eyes open. Breathing normal. Slowly, gently come up with the help of your elbows one by one. Turn around. Lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax in Savasana. Palm should be facing the ceiling. Let the universe give you something for all your hard work. Breathing in and out through your nose. Please keep your eyes open. Get ready for the sit-up. Heels and feet together. Flex your foot. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit-up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn around. For the second set, one more time, sit down Japanese style, squeeze your knees together, separate your feet, sit down in between your feet, hips touching the floor, heels touching the hips, hips and heels are touching with each other throughout the entire posture. Sit up straight. Now put your hands and palms on your toes. Now with the help of your elbows, one by one, please lie down on your back. Arms over your head. Grab your elbows with each other over the head and pull your elbows down towards the floor. Lift your stomach and chest up, all the way up towards the ceiling, create a perfect human bridge. Tuck your chin to your chest, squeeze your knees together. Eventually in the future, make sure your knees never come off the floor. Every posture is just for a few seconds, you can do it. Eyes open, breathing normal and slowly gently come up with the help of your elbows one by one. Turn around, lie down on your back, three, two, one. Completely relax. The transition in between the posture, in and out of the posture, is very fast in the flow series. So you have to do the right way because you cannot miss your breathing. You have to be on your savasana. Breathing in and out through your nose, mouth closed. Heels and feet together. Flex your foot. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn around. For the half tortoise pose, Ardha Kurmasana, sit down Japanese style. Hips and heels are touching with each other throughout the entire posture. Keep your spine straight. Look straight into the mirror. Arms over your head. Only thumbs crossed. Only thumbs crossed. Not interlock. Not interlock. Only thumbs crossed. Keep your elbows locked. Look straight into the mirror. Suck your stomach in. Chin away from your chest. Eyes open. Breathing. And slowly, gently come down, come down, come down, come down. Touch your forehead on the floor. Your little baby fingers touching the floor. The rest of your arm is in the air. Keep your arms straight, elbows straight, chin away from your chest. Hips and heels are touching with each other throughout the entire posture. Please do not lift your hips up. Touch your forehead on the floor. Chin away from your chest. Shoulder blades, scapula coming out of your body. Your total spine is stretching from top to bottom. Eyes open, breathing normal, and slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together. Arms by your side. Turn around, lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax. Do you see the changes in your body and in your mind while doing this Bikram Yoga? Yes? Today you may, you may feel a little bit, millimeter. Tomorrow, centimeter. Then again, after that, a little bit. So it's all about you, remember, with a positive mental attitude. You are doing it and you will do it. 
Heels and feet together, flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, give a good, quick sit up everybody, double jerk. Turn around for the second set to fix your spine. Everybody do it together. Don't give up. Sit down Japanese style, squeeze your knees together, sit down on your heels, hips and heels are touching with each other, spine straight, arms over your head. Keep your elbows locked, chin away from your chest, suck your stomach in, exhale breathing and you go down. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Touch your forehead on the floor. Chin away from your... Yes, don't do it that. Yes, you got it. Chin away, you can do it. This posture gives you more relaxation in 30 seconds than 8 hours of sleep. Just think of it, guys. 8 hours of sleep, you're doing in 30 seconds. High-speed blood goes into the brain. It activates the brain cells. It re-energizes, reorganizes, revitalizes unused and overused brain cells. Your deltoids, step scapula trapezius muscle, latissimus dorsi, everything is stretching forward like a balancing stick. Touch your forehead on the floor, chin away from your chest, eyes open, breathing normal, good for your spine. Slowly, gently come up with your arms and head together, arms by your side, turn around, lie down on your back, one, two, three, completely relax. If you read Bikram's book, every posture gives the benefit of chronic diseases. So if you read it, you will know how to fix it. How many of you have read Bikram's book, Beside the Teachers? Wonderful. So if you don't have one, grab it from Michelle. She has the Bikram book and please read how useful and benefit are all these postures. Heels and feet together, flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up everybody, double jerk. Turn around. For the camel pose, Ustrasana, the deepest back bending of the flow series. Stand up on your knees, six inches gap in between your knees. You know how to make six inches. Feet flat on the floor. Stand up straight with your spine straight. Look straight into the mirror. Bring your hands and palms on your back. No, 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 no. Not like this. No, not like this. It is always like this. Thumbs towards your thumbs outside, fingers towards. Take a deep breath. Push your hips forward towards the mirror in front of you. Then drop your head back, drop your head back, you can do it, go back half away, stop in the middle, then grab your right heel with your right hand, left heel with your left hand, thumb outside, fingers inside, keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip, keep your arms straight, elbows straight, take a deep breath, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror in front of you, continuously keep pushing, push more, push everybody, push forward, I want a 360 degree angle, backward bending for gravitation, eyes open, breathing normal, please put your hands and palms on your back, chest up, push forward, spine straight, Slowly, gently lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax. Now, after this posture, you may feel a little bit of dizzy, nausea, emotional. Just let it go with your breath. Go with the flow. Keep your legs straight. Go with the flow. Please do not hold anything right now in your body and in your mind. No unnecessary tension, no worries. Keep all your issues in your tissues. You have left it outside the room. So don't bring it inside. Just do this yoga with your body and mind. Let it go with your breath. Heels and feet together. Flex your foot. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn around for the second set of camels. Stand up on your knees. Second set a little more wider than the first set. Eight inches, ten inches. Feet six inches. Stand up straight. Feet flat on the floor. Bring your hands and palms on your back, thumb outside, fingers towards the floor. Take a deep breath, push your hips forward towards the mirror in front of you and drop your head back. Take out the fear from your mind. You can drop your head back, you can drop your head back, go back. Now grab your right heel with your right hand, left heel with your left hand, thumb outside, fingers inside. Keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. This is the deepest back bending of the flow series. Fixing your spine, lower spine, middle spine, upper spine. Take a deep breath, push your stomach, legs, hips, everything forward towards the mirror in front of you. Continuously keep pushing. Push more, push forward, eyes open, breathing normal. Slowly, gently bring your hands and palms on your back. Wonderful, everybody. Good try. Turn around, lie down on your back. Three, two, one. Completely relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You know, I think so. Everybody in average, they, we all feel scared of back bending, right? Somehow or the other. We all feel so scared about back bending. Why? Because I think so the head is going to come out of the body. No? 
Now, back bending is equally important as forward bending. We love forward bending, but we also have to take care of our spine. Heels and feet together, flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed, give a good, quick sit up, everybody, double jerk. Turn around for the rabbit pose, Sasanga Asana. Sit down Japanese style, fix your spine one more time, put the towel on your feet, grab your heels over the towel, keep a nice tight grip, don't lose the grip. Now tuck your chin to your chest, look at your stomach, suck your stomach in and you go down. Come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. Touch your forehead on your knees. Automatically the top of the head will touch the floor. Lift your hips up, all the way up towards the ceiling. Hips up, hips up, hips up. Keep your arms straight, elbows straight, roll forward. If there's a gap between your knees and your forehead, walk your knees one by one, but forehead should touch the knee. Your neck might hurt a little bit in this posture, but that's very, very obvious. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal. Slowly, gently come up, look up, turn around, lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax in Savasana. It's all about you guys. Never underestimate yourself in a Bikram Yoga class. Never ever. You guys are very, very special. That's why you're here for to do this yoga. Everybody cannot do it. Think of it. Heels and feet together. Flex your foot. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up everybody. Double jerk. Turn around. For the second set. To fix your spine, this is the stretching posture. One more time, put the towel on your feet. Grab your heels over the towel. Keep a nice tight grip. Don't lose the grip. Tuck your chin to your chest. Look at your stomach. Suck your stomach in. Exhale, breathing. And you go down. Come down, come down, come down, come down. Touch your forehead on your knees. Automatically, the top of the head will touch the floor. Very good. May lift your hips up. Hips up all the way up towards the ceiling. Keep your arms straight. Elbows straight. Your total spine is stretching. From top to bottom, from coccyx to the neck, from coccyx to the forehead. Roll forward like a wheel. If there's a gap between your forehead and your knees, walk your knees one by one, but forehead should touch the knee. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal, and slowly, gently come up. Look up. Turn around. Lie down on your back. Completely relax in Savasana. Breathe, breathe, breathe. When you step out of this room, you always give a new identity to yourself. Why? Because you are doing Bikram Yoga. This is not easy. And you are doing it with your body, with your mind, with your body, with your flexibility, strength and balance. And the willpower. So never give up. Heels and feet together. Flex your foot. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up everybody. Double jerk. Turn around for head to knee stretching pose. Janusidasana with Paschimottasana. Now your mirror is the, your reflection, guys. Always remember that. No matter how you look, whatever you're doing, it's all about you. Always look in the mirror. Now stretch your right leg out. Bend your left knee. Your left heel touching the costume or wherever you feel comfortable. Arms over your head, interlock your ten fingers, turn to the right. Now grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toes and pull harder. Your heel should come off the floor, heel out, toes in. Touch your forehead on your knee. Bend your knee if you have to, but please guys, touch your forehead on your knee. Suck your stomach in. Left elbow down more, left shoulder down more. Roll into the left, eyes open, breathing normal. Change. Stretch your left leg out, bend your right knee, arms over your head, interlock your ten fingers including your thumb and grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toes. Pull harder. Your heel should come off the floor, heel out, toes in. All five toes towards your face, touch your forehead on your knee, bend your knee if you have to but make sure your forehead is touching the knee. Suck your stomach in. Come on, Naisha, you can do it. Pull harder. Your right elbow down more, right shoulder down more, roll into the right, eyes open. Breathing normal, change. Everybody lie down. Don't come up. Just lie down on your back. Arms over your head. Thumbs crossed. A good sit up, everybody. Now grab your big toe with the help of your middle and index finger and pull your big toe as hard as possible. Walk back on your hips. Right, left, right, left, right, left. 10 to 15 times to get your both 
knees locked. Miss, my friend out there, can you, it's like a pair of scissors. You have to grab your foot. Yes. Thank you. And walk back. Make sure your both knees are locked like this. Miss, you have to hold your big foot with your, no, look at me, miss, like this, like this. Wonderful. Thank you. Suck your stomach in and stretch your body forward. Come on, come on, come on. Stretch your body forward. Your goal is to try to touch your forehead on your big toe. Come on. You will get there very soon in 2040, in 2050. But keep trying. Don't give up. You're pulling your own leg. Be honest with yourself. Touch your forehead. Come on, Ravi. Pull. Don't look so sad. Pull. Bend your elbows. Stretch. Pull. Change. Good. Turn around. Lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe in and out through your nose, mouth closed. Sometimes, you know, your right side is little tight. Your left side is much more flexible. So it all's about your body proportion. So nothing to be shy about it. You can do it. And you are doing it. And you will do it. Yes or no? Thank you. Hills and feet together. Flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up, everybody. Double jerk. One more time. Turn your turn to the middle. Stretch your right leg out. Bend your left knee. Arms over your head. Interlock your ten fingers and grab your right foot a couple of inches below the toe and pull harder. Touch your forehead on your knee. Bend your knee if you have to, but make sure everybody is touching your forehead on your knee. Now push your knee down with the help of your forehead very quickly a couple of times to lock your knee. Eyes open, breathing normal, change. Stretch your left leg out, bend your right knee, arms over your head, interlock your ten fingers, grab your left foot a couple of inches below the toe and pull harder, touch your forehead on your knee. Bend your knee if you have to, but make sure your forehead is touching the knee. Now push your knee down with the help of your forehead to lock your knee very quickly a couple of times. Throat choked, eyes open, breathing normal, change. Slowly lie down on your back, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up, everybody. Double jerk. Now grab your big toe with the help of your middle and index finger and pull your big toe as hard as possible and walk your hips back, right, left, right, left, right, left, 10 to 15 times to get your both knees locked. If your both knees are locked, suck your stomach in and stretch your body forward. Come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Bend your elbow, stretch your body. Come on, Sarah, your goal is to try to touch your forehead on your big toe. Pull harder, pull, pull, stretch. Suck your stomach in, pull, pull, change. Good try. Turn around, lie down on your back. One, two, three. Completely relax. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Heels and feet together, flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn to the left side of the room for spine twisting pose, Ardha Mashtendra Asana. Bend your left knee, bring your right leg over and top of your left knee. Sit up straight with your spine straight. Hips touching the floor, heel touching the hip. Lift your left arm up. Grab your left knee with the help of your left hand. Push your right knee back with the help of your left elbow. Make sure three things, your hand, heel, and knee is touching each other at one spot on the floor. Bring your right arm out, palm facing out. Grab the thigh behind you and look over your right shoulder, way, way back. Your total spine is twisting from top to bottom. Joints of each and every vertebra and cartilage is twisting like a pearl necklace. Look back and twist. Look back and twist. Look back and twist. Twist. Twist, twist, change. Good, everybody. One more time. Bend your right knee. Bring your left leg over on top of your right knee. Sit up straight with your spine straight. Lift your right arm up. Grab your right knee with the help of your right hand. Push your left knee back with the help of your right elbow. Bring your left arm out, palm facing out. Grab the thigh behind you and look over your left shoulder. Way, way back. Lower spine, middle spine. Upper spine, your total spine is twisting from top to bottom, from coccyx to the neck, from coccyx to the forehead. Everybody, look back. Give a good twist. Come on. Twist, twist, twist. Change. Turn around, lie down on your back. One, 
two, three. Completely relax. Get ready for the last sit-up of the posture, everybody together. Legs straight, heels and feet together. Flex your foot, arms over your head, thumbs crossed. Give a good, quick sit-up, everybody. Double jerk. Turn around for the final breathing exercise. Everybody sit down Japanese style. Spine straight. Bring your hands and palms on your knees. Do not bend your elbows like this. Straight. Now, if you do not have your knee issue, you can everybody sit down in Japanese style. Now, only exhale, inhale will happen automatically. Look straight into the mirror. Concentrate. Wish for yourself. Wish for your body. Wish for your mind. Start. Blow it out. Stomach, stomach. Stronger. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Moisten your mouth. Relax your shoulders. Swallow a couple of times. A little faster. Start. everybody wonderful please lie down on your back to acknowledge the gift that you have gifted yourself in this 90 minutes with your body and with your mind just for two minutes lie down on your back completely relax keep your head straight on the floor hands and palms by your side palm facing up towards the ceiling eyes closed Relax everything in your body and in your mind. Relax your head. Relax your face. Relax your forehead. Relax your ears. Relax your eyes. Relax your chin. Relax your neck. Relax your joints. Relax your muscles. Relax your shoulder. Relax your arms. Relax your hands, relax your fingers, relax your wrist, relax your palm, relax your elbow, relax your joints, relax your muscles, relax your legs, relax your feet, relax your toes, relax your heel. Relax your ankle, relax your knees, relax your joints, relax your thigh, relax your muscles, relax your hips, relax your joints, relax your chest, relax your stomach, relax your belly, relax your spine. Relax everything in your body from top to bottom. Completely relax. Just breathe. 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 Completely relax. You all have done a very good class. Please keep up with your practice. Thank you. Namaste.